Welcome back freshwater fishing novices, new viewers. This is uh, another video in a freshwater fish series, I guess I wanna say. So I'm trying to tell all you novices, if you're just starting out fishing, about different freshwater fish. This week, we're gonna be talking about a fish I don't particularly care to catch, but it's a freshwater fish and it's found in a lot of places, but we're gonna talk about that. What fish are we talking about this week? Chain pickerel, nicknames for this pain in the butt fish, the chain pickerel, also known as the gun fish, a gunny, often referred to as slime darts, because they're, they're slimy, known in some parts as a federation pike, the southern pike, chain pickerel also known as the grass pike. I don't know if you're even curious about this, but how big do chain pickerel get? 31 inches, three feet roughly. I mean, that's a big slime dart or chain pickerel. Four to five pounds is pretty big. What's the average lifespan of a chain pickerel? Average is about three to five years. They've been found to live to nine to 10 years old. That's a huge chain pickerel. That's probably one of those seven pounders right there. When do these fish, these chain pickerel like to bite? They prefer summer and winter. When you're gonna fish for them and catch them the most, late afternoon to about an hour, maybe two after sunset. And in the morning, you're gonna to wanna to go like dawn until about two hours after uh, sunup. So that's a good time to catch these chain pickerel. That's not to say that I haven't caught them in the middle of the day. Where do we find these chain pickerel? They're gonna be in grass or maybe near some structure. They're ambush predators. They go from zero to 60 in the blink of an eye. I mean, they take off like a Maserati, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini. A fast car I can't afford. Chain pickerel are also part of the pike family. The chain pickerel's the smallest one out of that family, the fish family. Fish family? Fish family is a thing. Chain pickerel tend to spawn the earliest in the spring out of most of the fish. And the reason that they do, it's an adaptation that they've evolved spawn early because the offspring of the chain pickerel, when they spawn early, have a chance to grow larger. So then as the other fish spawn later in the spring, the chain pickerel can, they're big, the babies are big enough to ambush and eat those fish and then grow bigger. Pretty sweet adaptation, if you ask me. Let's talk about where these chain pickerel are found. They're found in weedy ponds and lakes and like slow sections of rivers or maybe creeks. I've seen them in, I've seen teeny ones in little creeks. So you guys know that uh, chain pickerel are solitary fish. Chain pickerel predominantly hunt using their sight. They rarely travel for food. They just kind of hang out in weed beds and if they see something, they'll jump out and crush it. Now, what do chain pickerel eat? Chain pickerel eat insects, smaller fish, they eat frogs, they eat crayfish, and sometimes they even eat mice. Gross. I wonder if chain pickerel eat their young. They probably do. Once again, fish are savage. Now, where are we gonna find chain pickerel? In, let's say the US. You can find chain pickerel from the deep south all the way up to Maine, and in some Midwestern states. I'm sure they're more widespread than that, and I'm misspeaking, because I'm sure they have them up in Canada, and I'm sure they go a little bit further than the Midwest. I can't imagine. I want to say they're invasive, but I think they're just very ferocious hunters. Now here's something interesting about chain pickerel that you should pay attention to while you're fishing. Now if you're fishing and you catch a good sized chain pickerel, you could be mad, like I usually am. If it's a big chain pickerel, it's a good indicator that there's a good amount of forage or bait fish, basically food for these fish to get big. That indicates that your other fish, largemouth, smallmouth, whatever fish, even yellow perch, whatever fish in that body of water are gonna have more forage, so they, they should be bigger. That should, that's your takeaway from when you're fishing and you catch a big chain pickerel. Now let's talk about temperature of water that chain pickerel prefer. They prefer between 60 and 70 degree water. I don't wanna say that's 100% true because I've caught chain pickerel at 55 degrees and all the way up to like 75, high 70s, not really above 80 too much. Water temp. What lures am I gonna go target pickerel with? What do they go for? Since they are ambush predators, they're looking for something to come right by in front of them. So typically a moving lure, you wanna stick with what their forage is. So frogs, fish, crustaceans, insects, and small mice. But I've had luck using spinner baits for bass, jerk baits I've caught pickerel on, crank baits I've caught pickerel on crank baits, I find that typically when I catch chain pickerel, I'm moving the lure. So if it's a soft plastic, it's moving. If it's a spinnerbait, obviously it's spinning and moving. 
I've had them hit almost everything I've thrown, not intentionally trying to catch these silly, silly fish. Chain pick roll. All right, freshwater fishing novices, new viewers, I hope you found this video educational. Because we're talking about education. We're talking about the different fish that you'll be able to find in fresh water. So hopefully you learned something about chain pickerel this week. If you want to know how to handle these fish, you can go to my most popular video that has the most amount of views. It's how to hold a fish. And I specifically talk about how you're going to handle this chain pickerel without getting tore up because they have needly sharp teeth and you do not want to lip them by grabbing them with your thumb. If you found this video educational, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know that you got some kind of value out of this video. If you have a question or a comment, you can leave that down in the comment section below. If you want to help my channel grow, help other people learn how to fish who are novices like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make the bell turn from red to gray. You'll be notified of future videos that I put out every week, hopefully helping you become better at fishing. Thanks for watching this week. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I'll catch you next week.